these hairstylists don't respect us and that's crazy hi welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking y'all this is such a like random impromptu impromptu vlog like I have been having such a mind block when it comes to vlogging. Like, so many little tiny reasons of just not picking up the camera. But I just decided I'm just going to do it. Like I'm just going to start vlogging. Uh, <laughs> like it has been the dumbest stuff. Like my hair is not done. I can't find my glasses which is always a thing. I can't find my glasses again. I don't know. Just like the smallest little things are like keeping me from just doing um, so yeah, oh my god, my shirt, just do it. But yeah, so that's what I'm in right now. I'm in a just do it moment of just like turning on my camera and vlogging myself. I just finished getting dressed. We are going out to the battery. They're doing the lighting of the tree today. So we're going to go out and take the kids to see the lighting of the tree. And then they're going to play Abominable, the movie, on the green. It's so crazy when you haven't vlogged in a long time. You feel kind of nervous. Like, it's so weird. Like, I feel nervous talking to you right now. It's like, what am I going to say? It's like, hi. <laughs> like that TikTok, like, hey. <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah. So... I have so much to catch y'all up on so i'm gonna talk real fast because everybody waiting for me i actually think they own the car so let me tell y'all another one of the reasons i haven't been vlogging much is because i'm kind of like in hibernation mode right now so like i haven't been doing anything i haven't been going anywhere I haven't really been going out i haven't been doing nothing i've been in the house so i really haven't been feeling like i had anything to vlog but i also want to get out of that and just vlog my life even if i'm in the house like cooking cleaning whatever i'm doing you know also i started working so i work from home as a graphic designer y'all might not know i went to school for advertising design i never really worked in the field because i left school for the most dumbest reason ever but um i did go to school for it and i always wanted to be a graphic designer so i'm kind of getting back into that space now so i'm a freelance graphic designer now and i work a lot like i've been getting a lot of traction so and it's like all coming through Facebook and I barely use Facebook but I've been getting a lot of orders for like logos and promotional tutorials and stuff like that so I've been working a lot so yeah that's why y'all also have not heard from me <laughs> in quite some time I'm trying to balance my new schedule with like working and you know everything else that I'm doing like my content and all that but honestly YouTube is I know it seems crazy for me to say this because I barely post. YouTube is number one for me. Like, I love YouTube. Like, it's my number one thing in life <laughs> that I want to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, as far as my career and stuff, y'all know my kids and everything, my number one. But YouTube is like my number one aspiration. Like, I love YouTube so much. So, I need to really buckle down in that. I don't use any other social media anymore. I might go on there here and there, but I don't go on there. I don't consume social media anymore. So I, I'm totally detoxed from social media. I don't even check it. I don't wake up and check my Instagram or TikTok anymore. I check my TikTok like once a week, maybe. I'm just like, so yeah. And so also, hey, creator friends. I know I haven't been in y'all comments and stuff like that. I'm sorry, but I just, I can't anymore. I don't consume social media. I am trying to make sure I keep supporting my YouTubers though because y'all my heart. But um, yeah, y'all see me soon. Okay, y'all will see me soon in y'all comments. I'm getting it together. All right, well yeah, I really need to get going. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have. That's all we're doing tonight and I'm gonna take y'all with me while we do that. And I'm probably gonna record for our family page. We do have a family page where we do like Atlanta stuff. So I might record something for that. Um, but yeah this week what am i doing i'm gonna work out with kehlani tomorrow i am planning to make grilled fish tacos but i don't have a grill <laughs> well i have a grill outside grill but i want an indoor grill so i need to get one of those i want to get some nails to put on my nails some press ons and i need to get a wax this week and i might get some braids that's a lot that's a lot i'm probably not gonna do all that something not getting done that's a lot i'm trying to be in the house a lot of that requires me to leave 
and no yeah i gotta figure out what my week is gonna be looking like but let's go y'all parking in atlanta is such an absolutely horrendous experience it's it's just insane but we decided not to go to the battery because we thought parking would be crazy there so we came to the chris kendall market and parking is nuts here so whatever so we're going to the chris kendall market instead it's like a little holiday market that they do it here every year i went to the one in philly i don't even think that was what it was called in philly but i went to the one in philly before it was cute it was fun so we'll see how this one is y'all can see it from up here oh the holes are like it's hard to focus because of these holes but we can see the market oh there you go see It's cold. going to the Chris Kendall market do not go on a Saturday night insane insane like so many people you can't even tell the difference between is this a line or is this just a bunch of people standing here like it's crazy this is dope this is real nice what is this that is so nice in there I want to go there what is that it's called compass Um, anyways, yeah, so now we're walking to find somewhere to eat. We don't know where, probably like the first restaurant or something we see. But, um, we were planning to like get some food, hot chocolate there. We just couldn't do it. Like, it was too much. It was too many people. The lines for every single, especially the food, everything was so long. It's cold. Money, hold up, gotta. Cut up, ladder, order, order, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, bitch, on the, on the, on the, wanna, come on, come on, on the, hey, I'm a stunner, stunner, summer, summer, been in, honey, cook up, hey, my crew, hey, surf up, wave, pop it. Sip it, a corn, rich, nigga, a one, baby, drinking it, a gun, baby, but a pecan, bringing that on a refund, bringing that back till I see the sun. So the I'm day. back home. I couldn't really film in Velvet Taco because it was chaos. It was really chaotic. <laughs> like, it's small in there. The one I went to was like in Buckhead, and it was just, it wasn't much space at all. So I couldn't do much. But we went there and then we went to Jenny's ice cream. Put the kids on it. Um, I really don't need any ice cream too much. And I don't know why I got any ice cream. I really shouldn't have because I had um a margarita at Velvet Taco. So I don't know why I got ice cream. But Velvet Taco is really good. It was my second time there. It was so good. I had tried. Oh, while I was there, I met a YouTuber. His name is Patrick, Patrick No Saint 777 on YouTube. And we met in line at Velvet Taco. So, hey Patrick. But yeah, he is a YouTuber. And he told me I should try the Kobe. Y'all, it's loud in my background, I'm sorry. He, he told me I should try the Kobe Smashburger Taco yes so good it was so good and then we had got to go 
because I had that taco, but my husband had the um, what do you call it? The chicken and waffle taco. Chicken and waffle. <laughs> The chicken and waffle taco. And I wanted to taste that. So we got, I got one to go. To give it a try. Why is it like wet? Ew. I don't know. But let's try it together. Okay. I'm so sorry for the noise in my background. But here it is. This is what it looked like. Okay. So let's see. I think it's got bacon on it. I don't eat bacon. Um. It's okay. I don't like that it has bacon on it. It's alright. It was probably better when it was like fresher. But. No. Hands down. That cheeseburger taco. The Kobe smash burger taco. Fire so good um but i want to go back and keep trying the different tacos because their food is just really good and the kids had chicken quesadilla also very good and tater tots also super good <laughs> so yeah another taco is that one all right y'all um i'm not even gonna finish this taco tonight i just wanted to taste it but I'm about to go upstairs and have some work to do. And I want to edit this footage from today. So I can kind of try to keep on track. So, yeah. I'm going to call it a night. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good afternoon. I am on my way to meet up with Kehlani to work out. Y'all, I'm really, really trying to get my life together and working out is a big part of that so i was working out so consistently i was working out every day i was lifting and then i mean it hasn't even been that long it's only been like a week but like the thanksgiving break came around and i just kind of was just like having a break and like i was busy too going to the grocery stores and just doing stuff so i wasn't really um I wasn't really working out like I should. Sorry, I had the camera all messed up. I'm about to put this camera down though. I was trying to set it up in a way I could record while driving, but I do not want to hold this camera the whole time while I drive. Kaylani and I are trying to work out once a week together. Um, because we usually meet about our podcast and stuff like that. So we usually meet up with one another um, and we haven't in a while, but we usually do. And so this is just a more productive meetup. <laughs> we can talk about things we need to talk about and just generally chill and hang out with each other through working out. So that's what I'm on my way to do right now. This week, I want to create an eating plan that I can try to stick to. Because I think when I don't plan my meals is really when I fail. So... I'm trying to do that too. I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to lose weight. So I'm really working on it. Like seriously. I even started to consider getting on Ozempic. Like that's still seriously an option for me. <laughs> like I might do it. Or one of the weight loss medications. I don't know. Maybe not Ozempic. But one of them. I don't know. But this. I really got to lose weight. I'm really trying to lose weight within the next two years. Um, I had my son a year ago and I really feel like this is the most difficult time I've had trying to lose weight. I did find out though that I have um, Hashimoto's disease so I do know that that contributes a lot to why it's so difficult for me to lose weight but I am on medication for it so you know hopefully with getting that treated things can go easier but I don't know I'm going to talk to my doctor about all of my options I don't really want to get surgery I'm scared to do that so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do but I gotta lose this weight for real like now that I'm done having kids I really just want to 
get myself back like I just want to be who I am like who I was like I just want to I don't know like kids can really drastically change everything about you and I just kind of want to get back to me for me like and this is not to say anything about anybody but for me I don't feel the most confident or comfortable at the way I am right now so I just want to get back to a more comfortable place for myself you know what I mean so I'm really working on that right now and I also wanted to talk to y'all about when what I was saying yesterday when I was like I'm not on social media anymore whatever like I'm still on there like I still have Instagram I still have all the pages and all that I'm not deactivating any of my other pages and I'm not saying I'm never going to post on them again but they are not like a priority to me and I just have no interest <laughs> right now but like I still have the apps and I still occasionally you know log on and check what are you doing like I still occasionally log on and check them out but um I just I'm not posting consistently and I'm not consuming them so if you see me posting on them you like I thought you don't use this I do use it like I will be posting on them probably especially to promote my YouTube channel my YouTube videos but I will not be consuming content through them and I when I tell y'all, if you've ever thought about doing something like that, to do it. Like, if you ever thought about detoxing from social media, it is so worth it. Like, my mind is so much clearer. It's only been like two or three weeks since I started my social media detox. But, um, I was, before that, I was just feeling so overwhelmed. Like, I was just like, oh my God, like, I'm so overwhelmed all this stuff everything like just life in general but I thought it was overwhelmed but it was really just overstimulation and so many of us are overstimulated like you're seeing so many more images than you're supposed to see in your lifetime in like a month you're seeing so many faces and images of people and bodies and ideas and thoughts and like it's so much more than the human brain is supposed to consume forever and you're consuming it in like such a limited amount of time like and we've consumed so much and it's just like it can really affect you I didn't really have the issue with like where like it hurt my mental health um well maybe in a way this is but it didn't it didn't like affect me mentally like compare myself to other people I think everybody does that here and there like compares itself but it didn't like affect me mentally doing stuff like that but what just really affected me was trying to be like active on these apps and like trying to just be in the know and all that but like now it's just like I don't care like I literally don't care what's going on on social media if anything I'd just rather like just have a text like hey what's up like I don't need to see what's going on in your day-to-day -day life on social media I don't need to watch stories I barely post my own stories because that's just it's just too much like so it's just I don't know I'm I really feel so good about it I love this my phone is like your phone usage was down 26 percent and I keep my phone on do not disturb now too that's another thing like when I'm in the house my phone will just be on do not disturb because like I'll check it when I check it I would notice that I would get a notification I'd open it and then I'd end up on an app scrolling the app so that's another way that helped me detox was just putting my phone on do not disturb when I go to check my phone I check my phone it's not like I'm being notified to check my phone um but I don't think I need to do that anymore I'm just pretty used to not picking up my phone as often I'm more like present I just really had to get out of that space and I'm really happy that I did that but I'm just saying you know it's not for everybody but it has really changed a lot of things for me it's keeping me just more centered now this is gonna sound probably so crazy I'm also discovering that there are a lot of things that I was being influenced into rather than just knowing what I like like 
things that I was doing or wanting to do or even down to clothes I was buying because they were trendy and I was seeing them and I'm like oh that'll be cute on me too maybe like you know when it's just like do I even really like this or is it just popular right now and I'm seeing it so much and I feel like I should like this like do I even want to wear this item like do I even like this type of clothing or is it just this is what people are wearing right now you know and I feel like I'm getting more back into what do I really like like what do I really enjoy like not I'm not being influenced as much I'm spending less money I'm not being advertised to as much I don't know I just I like it like this yeah I will talk to y'all my lips are so dry I will talk to y'all when I get to my mom. And now we're going to Target. Um, I have to get a glue gun and some gel for my hair. I forgot what she was. Oh, she doing a pickup. Yeah. So, yeah, come in the Target with us. <laughs> in Target, I really think I want to get this paint by number canvas kit because it just looks relaxing to do. Should I get the butterfly or should I get the dog? Or should I get the flower? Nope, it's over there. <laughs> yeah, it's for crazy glue. We just saw the crazy glue. Should I tell him? We should do this one day as an activity. I love stuff like this. I'll be buying it from the dollar store with the kids and then we do. But this is a more adult version. Yeah. Me and you should do it. With some wine and stuff. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be just a nice little Relax. something to do. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna get one of these. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to decide which one I want. Yeah, I might get the butterfly. I don't know if y'all ever heard of this brand, French or French. Uh, but it smells so good. This is my favorite. Which one? Which one is your favorite? That's my favorite too. This what is favorite? it called again? Citrus Amber. Citrus Amber smells so good. I haven't smelled this one though. And this is what the other girl was talking about. This is Cashmere Vanilla. So let's see. It's all right. It's kind of strong. You smelled it? Mm -hmm. Um, I actually feel like I don't smell it that much. I feel like the Cashmere Vanilla is stronger. I mean the Cashmere the Amber. Ambers. It is I stronger. mean, what is it called? Citrus Amber. It's definitely stronger. That's stronger. But y'all see, it's a whole line. So you can get bath bombs. So let me show y'all from the whole line. So you see this lavender cloud? You can get the bath bomb. You can get the hair mask. You can get shower steamers. Um oh wait, that might be a different brand right mm -hmm. Mm -mm. yeah 
Oh, but I don't know if they have this in that lavender, but it's a whole line. So then they also have the bath powder. They have everything in this scent, though. The citrus. Except for oil. Amber. Oh, they don't have the oil? This one is an oil. But it's a, a perfume oil. Not the same scent. It's not like a body oil. Oh. But yeah, like, you can get all of this. And they have candles. <laughs> I think I'm going to get some of this one day. <laughs> Y'all want to see what clothes Target got? This is so cute. And this jacket. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I love this jacket. Yeah. I don't like the green with the blue. Oh, look, they got the furry one. The furry bag. That is super cute. Oh, look. How much is this? I'm not getting it. I don't care how much it is. It's 40. That's not bad, though. No, it's not bad. It really is. It really is not bad. I'm about to take a picture of this. Oh, why? I have it on the camera. Right. <laughs> No, oh, that's so cute. I should take a picture though for my thumbnail. Too cute. So adorable. Okay, y'all. I am home now. Let me put on some chapstick. I'm back. Let's do a real quick little Target haul. Like, very little because I didn't get that much stuff. So, I got me a loofah with a handle. I never had one with a handle. So that, you know, I can reach everything. You know, I just thought this was cute too. It's two-toned, it's like pink and cream. And I've really been into that color scheme lately. So yeah, thought it was real cute. Then I got some, I got some Twister gummies. Y'all know I like my gummies and these are so good. I love the texture. They're just so good. I already started eating them so good. I don't need to be eating stuff like that. But I don't eat too many at a time. Honestly, I really like gummies for the texture. I love the texture. I wonder if there's like gummies with this texture that, I don't know, sugar free. I don't really like sugar free stuff. And the gummies I've tried that are sugar free, I didn't really like them. I didn't like the texture. But I don't know, these are really good. I had to get some Eco Styler gel. Then I got some nails. I really like these Kiss Bare But Better nails. Press ones. I was gonna do them tonight, but I'm really tired. I'm probably not gonna do them tonight. I wanna say I will do it tomorrow, but I'm so behind on work. Like, I'm really behind. I procrastinated way too much and I have like a meeting tomorrow where I have to present some concepts and I should really be done. But I'm gonna finish that up tonight. Yeah, I'm not gonna get to do my nails tonight. I just won't have the time. And I'm really tired so I wanna finish up what I have to do for tomorrow and then get to bed. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do our nails together. I'm gonna show you how I get them to last two weeks at the minimum. I think they're going up on the price on press on nails because I, these were like nine something, almost $10. And I just feel like they didn't used to cost that much. That's so crazy. But I do think they're better quality now than they used to be. They weren't this thick as they are now. Like, so I guess it's worth it. It's better than going to get my nails done and paying $75 for a French manicure. Okay. And then I got this paint by numbers kit. I really hey. wanted. Hey. <laughs> I really. You gonna talk every time I talk? But yeah, I really wanted this because I, um, I just want something to wind down like I just feel like I always in the night working and I want to do something for myself 
and just like a wind down type of thing and y'all know i like artsy stuff so yeah of course you know i also crochet but i really saw this and i was just like this seems like so relaxing like just so chill so yeah i'm gonna try to do this some nights some nights i'll do that some nights i'll crochet some nights i'll do something else just for myself self-care or something but i really every night i want to end my night doing something that's non-technology based and really just like wind down before i go to bed i'm trying to stop looking at screens up to like within two hours before i go to sleep i'm sorry you keep playing with the door sorry about the noise but i don't really have trouble sleeping but i do know that it's not good for your eyes to be looking at your computer all day long and also i just know that i'll get better rest if i'm not looking at the computer two hours before i go to bed yeah. Yeah, I want to do like kind of like a mindless activity, something I don't have to think too much about. I'm going to finish up what I have to do for tomorrow. And then I would have liked to start my paint by numbers, but I'm using markers. Did I say that? I'm not even painting. I'm going to be using markers that I got from Marshalls a couple weeks ago. I would have liked to do that, but I'm not going to be able to do that because i have so much work to do talk to you tomorrow like i said i only have a business meeting tomorrow i don't really have too much else i might cook probably not i don't know what i'm gonna cook because we have velvet taco so the fish tacos i was gonna make that doesn't really make sense to do anymore we had so many tacos this weekend already so i have to figure out something else to cook i don't know what it's gonna be i need to figure that out though I know what you're thinking you're thinking oh great she found her glasses no i didn't these are the glasses i've been trying to avoid wearing on camera <laughs> i don't like these anymore since i got my new glasses i'm like why did you ever buy those these i do not like these at all i don't like the way they look on my face and i feel like they just i don't know i just i don't know i don't like them but yeah and now it's like a glare but i'm working right now so kind of had to check in it's like super late it's super late i did everything i need to do today outside of work stuff um well not everything because i still need to cook later but like with the kids their school work everything like that and now i'm really trying to get a lot done and my daughter has um, karate class tonight and I don't know if I'm taking her or not, but I have to figure it out. I don't think I need to take her. Anyways, outside of all that, I wanna show y'all something while I'm in here. This is my like room, my media room. I record my podcast in here. I work in here, like my office, I guess. But while I'm in here, I wanted to show y'all, I got my first, real PR <laughs> the reason I'm saying it's my first real PR because it's the first time a company sent me something and they weren't expecting a post they just sent me this and I'm definitely gonna be trying these products out soon but this is from good molecules which is a skincare brand and I want to share it with y'all this is so nice of them to send me oh my goodness look at it <laughs> this is so nice it says, see a difference in your skin. After 10 years working in beauty, there's a funny thing I noticed about skincare. Regardless of how much you spend, results are usually the same. I didn't notice a difference in my skin. The truth is most brands spend more on the jar than the formula inside. And we wonder why their products don't work. That's the reason we started Good Molecules, to create products that make a difference in your skin. Products filled with ingredients backed by science at a price you can feel good about too. We publish a nothing to hide ingredient list on the side of each box so you know exactly how much of each we use. I'm excited for you to try Good Molecules and see a difference in your skin. Never testing on animals. This is all the stuff they sent me. And another card. Oh. It is now available at Ulta. 
niacinamide brightening toner and this is the nothing to hide ingredient list i like that instant cleansing balm discoloration correcting serum oh and i love it how they have the steps step one cleanse step two tone step three discoloration correcting serum step four moisturize and step five spf i like that overnight exfoliating treatment and then a lightweight daily moisturizer i am going to be trying this stuff out over the next few weeks i really feel like for me for my skin like i don't know i guess i have kind of like dry skin in winter time overall my skin is just really clear usually so sometimes when it comes to new products i get kind of like nervous because i'm also maybe sensitive because sometimes i get breakouts when i try new stuff but i am i'm not sure if i'm going to use them all at once or like try them on different days probably just to make sure i don't have a reaction or if i do have a reaction i know what's causing the reaction but i think i'm going to start with i'm really interested in the overnight exfoliating treatment for real that's really like i don't have anything else like that so i'm interested in that and we'll see we'll see if any of these if i start to incorporate them into my full uh skincare routine which i am going to share i'm going to share my skincare routine with y'all soon um not today <laughs> but soon <laughs> thank you good molecules that is so nice i love this they have some other stuff on here that i didn't um get in my box that y'all might want to try if you want to read this this is some of their other products i feel like i might have brightened my Oh, there we go. Because I brightened my camera a little bit. So y'all can see that. I am about to cook. I did go to BJ's. I got all the ingredients I needed for my salmon. I'm making mango salsa salmon. I don't like tomatoes. So, <laughs> I didn't get any tomatoes. So, I'm very interested to see what a mango salsa salmon is going to taste like um so let me show y'all what i got i got cilantro i don't even think i like cilantro based on the smell i'm like do i like cilantro and then i got two packs of salmon y'all it's a lot of us it's a lot of people okay i got four kids all right four kids to feed and we all like leftovers so i'm making two salmons then red onions a whole entire box of mangoes I Brussels sprouts and then I got these these are just for like lunch and stuff for the week I don't even know what I'm gonna put in them yet keep in mind this is my first time making this I don't know what I'm doing or if it's gonna come out good I watched somebody make it on TikTok and I'm not gonna watch that video again I like to do that I like to like hear about a recipe and then develop it myself like you know or like see it and then that's it I'm gonna do it myself you know from there I'll take it from there <laughs> let me get started I'm 
out to Spain to be in my domain, all of my bitch. Draw three dollars on the rain, call it in the truck, little bitch. Ooh, I was in the top, serving cocaine, they ain't been the same since. That's better time than call us a I go tremendo for new fettuccine. All fat, no carry the pinky. All fat, no be part of the feast. I'm in the loop with the boo. I'm in the loop with the boo. Who's when you work I put your face to the new. I put the puss on the shirt. After I break the bank, go shoot up the hearse. Cost me a quarter bird. Nigga, it's worth it. You a maniac, you fucking hate me. How you spurning? Got that kitty cat on having fun with it. Going Birkin. Hey y'all, so it is, what is today? It is Tuesday, I didn't vlog it all today. It's Tuesday night. I just blew out my hair because I was able to get an appointment for tomorrow to get my braids, which I'm so excited about. Don't play with that girl, my hair is long. Don't play with it, don't play with it. <laughs> no, but my hair is really long. Um. It's crazy because I've been wearing my hair curly for like, excuse me, I've been wearing my hair curly for like a few months now and I just feel like my hair grows so much when I'm not like manipulating it or putting heat on it. Like it's definitely grown a lot since the last time. Well, you know what? I did flat iron it once for my birthday, but other than that, I really haven't been putting heat on it again. Um. I went no heat for a long time before, but then I put a lot of heat on it this year. But I just feel like, I don't know, this makes me feel like I should stop. <laughs> but I am really, I'm just going to be protective styling for a while. Like, I think for the rest of the winter I might do braids. i also been thinking about a sew-in. But I just, I don't feel like doing my hair too much. And when I when I try to do my own hair, like get hairstyles that involve my natural hair, um, or not natural hair, like not curly natural hair, but just my hair with no weave or anything like that. My hair frizzes up so bad. The, like, it gets so puffy. Like, I just, I don't know. It. I would have to do my hair every day. So that's why I just feel like I want to get styles that my hair is not out. My own hair is not out. But yeah, I cannot wait to get my braids. I'm sorry, my son is down here playing with stuff he took off my counter that he shouldn't even have, but pick your battles, you know, just pick your battles. I wanted to come on here because I told y'all I would tell you how I do my nails to keep them on. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick. I'm gonna just show y'all one nail because I wanna go watch TV with my man and I am gonna do that while we watch TV. I'm all caught up in work. Oh my God. I'm so relieved right now. Like, and today was stressful. Today was real stressful. Just chilling tonight. I do have other stuff I have to do. Cause I'm trying to look at social media also as my work because it is a responsibility, especially our family page. Like I cannot be slacking and I've been slacking. And I really need to do that. And my podcast, Hey Stranger Network. Like, I really feel like I've been slacking on everything. Even my personal pages, I've just been slacking, like getting caught up in other things. So all of that is work. So I'm actually not all caught up <laughs> on work because that stuff is work too. And I have a lot of stuff I need to do for that. But I'm all caught up on my graphic design work. I feel good tonight. But I'm actually gonna take a break from that. I think I think I'm gonna take a break until am I seeing down enough? I think I'm gonna take a break until I wanna say January. I think. I think that's a long break. But I just I need to get other things in order right now. And I I wanna build a website and stuff. So it's just a lot. Y'all, I'm a nail biter. Okay, I'm letting you know right now I bite my nails. So I know my nails look horrible. I know. Okay, so I'm trying to find a perfect match. I think this one is a good one. This is a good match. There's no, can y'all see it? There's no space on either side of it, but it's also not on my skin and that's what I'm going for. I don't know if y'all can see but this is a good match just i really should have done like an actual manicure but i don't feel like doing all that tonight so yeah i found a good match i think there's a good match 
I don't know, I already cracked it a little bit, but whatever. I'm only intending to keep these on. They, I really don't care as long as they last me at least a week. But I'm really able to keep them on for like up to two weeks when I do what I do. First, we are going to use some alcohol or acetone. If you have nail dehydrator, use that. I'm just gonna dehydrate my nails. Make sure it's no like oil on them. Now I'm gonna rough up the top of my nail. You see that the surface of the nail is like not smooth anymore. That's what we want. I'm just gonna take the glue that came in the pack. I think the glue that comes in the pack works really well. I know people are using some other kind of glue on TikTok, super glue, whatever. Child, this glue is fine. It works fine for me. I do think this is like gel glue, so I don't know what that means, and I don't cure it or anything. But I'm gonna put a good amount of glue on there. Okay, this is not focusing. It is not focusing. But that's okay. And then on the nail itself, let me see, do I need to move my face out of it? I'm gonna also put a good amount of glue like two to three drops okay can y'all see it y'all can't even see it though it's blending in with the color of the nail can y'all see i don't think y'all can see but a good amount okay now i'm gonna lay it on and we want to make sure we don't have any air bubbles all right Make sure you don't have any air pockets or air bubbles. And then I'm gonna hold it down for, um, I do like 30 seconds. I think the, th the instructions say you could do five, but I'm holding it for like 30 seconds. Okay, now that nail is on there. It's on. It's not going nowhere. I hope it don't look crooked. Is it crooked? It probably is. Whatever. All right. So, usually I do the whole thing before I do this next step. Now, if you do that, your nail should last you. This should be good. You should be good with this for at least a week. At least five days, I'll say, because it's going to break. <laughs> like, these aren't the thickest nails in the world. It's going to break. But, this should last you. But for me, for me, I don't want my nails long anyway. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut this down real low. Hold on. Okay, so when I say low, I mean low. I'm cutting these nails down. And yes, I'm using scissors. I actually, I have a nail clip right here, but I don't want to use this. So I'm cutting it real low. Okay. Now you see that? That's. That's a very short nail. This is how I want my nails. And then I'm just gonna file it. I'm gonna file it how I want it. The shape I'm going for, I want square round. So I'm gonna file it to be square round. Now when I tell y'all these nails gonna last me, they gonna last me. They gonna last me about two weeks. Okay, you see that? I know it looked like it's probably like so short and like what's the point but it's kind of like having a gel manicure a little bit and I bite my nails so I don't have no nails to do a gel, a gel manicure but I'm telling you if you like them longer you could wear them longer you just they just might not last you as long as mine last me but this is just what I, what I want I just want my hands to look a little nicer you know in the morning i don't know if i'm gonna get back on the camera when i'm done maybe but i'll probably just show y'all in the morning when i go to get my hair done i think i'm gonna see if i could vlog while i'm at the place it just depends on the vibes you know i've never been to this place before it just depends we'll see good afternoon it's wednesday i'm headed out i'm about to go get my hair done um did i tell y'all order new glasses i order new glasses which I'm glad because I actually had wanted to order black glasses and so this just gave me an excuse to actually do it so 
I ordered a black pair. I started that thing, the paint by numbers, but like I told y'all, I need the markers. And this is it so far. I started doing it last night. It's so fun. It's really fun. And even with the markers, it's giving it like a watercolor type look, which is so crazy. I didn't expect that. These are the type of markers I'm using. I got them at Marshalls. They were no, I got them at TJ Maxx on clearance, ten dollars. I am about to go. I should probably put some earrings on or something. I don't think I'm gonna vlog on this camera. If anything, I vlog on my phone. I, but let me go so I'm not late. I don't feel like dealing with nobody mouth. Okay, or get no extra charges or anything, whatever. Let me just get out of here. Please tell me why I just got hey booed. Seven minutes away from the shop. Why did this lady call me talking about, I see you have an appointment at 1.30. Yes. Now mind you, I called her yesterday. I called this lady yesterday. I called her to make an appointment. I told her what time I wanted to come in. She said to me, schedule your appointment online. That's exactly what I did. Why is she telling me now? Oh yeah, that's why when you called me yesterday, I told you I wouldn't be in till two or three. You absolutely didn't tell me that. You told me, schedule your appointment online, which is what I did. <laughs> And then I got a confirmation. It said, Francis Hair Braiding accepted your appointment. What are, what? And then you're telling me that you told me you wouldn't be available, but uh, what? You told me to schedule my appointment online and I did. I'm literally, like my mind is blown right now. And then she's like, maybe um, maybe I can get somebody to come in. Hold on, let me see. I can call and see. No, no, don't call and see nothing. No, cancel my appointment. That's okay. I don't care. Like, literally, that's... Because <laughs> then, because not only did you... Ex be accountable. Accept your mistake. Like, you made a mistake and accepted an appointment you couldn't accept. Or you had something come up. Don't tell me you told me something you didn't tell me. Like, I... Like... <sighs> Oh, and I'm so like, y'all don't understand. Like, this is my first time scheduling an appointment with any Atlanta hairstylist because I've been so concerned about this situation because this is all I hear about happening to people all the time. And it's like literally my very first time scheduling an appointment with an Atlanta hairstylist. Well, a braider. I've had other hairstyles, but my, <laughs> my very first time scheduling an appointment with a braider in Atlanta. This is what's happening to me. Like, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad right now. I wash my hair, blow dry my hair, everything. <sighs> I called another shop. They said they'll take me at two o'clock. So I'm gonna go to this appointment. This shop, I just, I don't know. They don't have as many good, they don't really have as many reviews and as good as, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Their reviews aren't as good. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know, we'll see. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts now, y'all. I have an appointment at 2 at a different hair salon. We will see how that goes. <sighs> but, like, if the time wasn't available, it shouldn't have been available on your site. And you shouldn't have said simply, schedule your appointment online. Rudely, by the way. It's like, I'm calling to schedule an appointment, and your response is, schedule online. Okay, bye. Like, <laughs> Okay, and so that's exactly what I did, and then this is what happens. And it's like, you didn't check last night. You didn't check to see, oh, I have an appointment at 1.30. I'm not going to be able to take, take that appointment. Let me let this person know. No, you called me 15 minutes before my appointment to say, I, I'm not going to be there till 2 or 3. What? You didn't check this morning. You didn't wake up and say, let me make sure, since I didn't block out that time on my schedule, make, let me make sure nobody has scheduled an appointment from this morning till 2 or 3 p.m., whichever one, I'm gonna be able to make it. You didn't, no? No, okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, you can go ahead with your order, sorry about that. That's okay, can I have a um, frozen coffee add cookie butter? 
What size would you like, baby? Uh, small. Small. All right. Would that be all for you? Um, and can I have whipped cream on that? You want to add cream? Sure, no problem. Yes. And that's it. Four sixty. Okay, I thank, you. thank you. Baby. All right. She was nice. Head east. She was nice. That um that helps you feel better when you're having a bad day. When somebody's nice. Because usually people are not nice at these windows. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I've been so reluctant to schedule an appointment. And I just be doing my hair myself and stuff like that. Cause it's just like I don't feel like dealing with it. And then I'm like, okay, let me make sure I'm on time, respectful of people's time. But nobody respects our time. These hairstylists don't respect us. And that's crazy. <laughs> There's just no respect for their customers. That's insane to me. It's insane. No respect. What? I just, I don't get it. How are you in business? How are you trying to run a business that's customer service based? You can't have a business without a person in your chair. And this is the kind of stuff you do to people. Y'all, oh my God, I should make a TikTok. I should really make a TikTok about this. I just need to, cause, cause really like, I don't want to be in this, this state all day, like mad. And I don't want to go to my, the place that told me I can come at too. I don't want to go there like in bad spirits or like defensive because of that other salon. Thank you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yo. Let me find where I'm going. We're going to see what the experience is like at this next place. I think I have a few minutes to myself. And the next place is only like five minutes from here. So it's not too far from the other shop. So... Yeah, I just need to calm down and go ahead. But all right, bye. Okay, here's my braids. And it's the next day. Well, it's like the next night. <laughs> but I was so tired yesterday. It's actually really late the next night. <laughs> what is today? Today is Thursday. And I'm tired right now, y'all can probably tell. Yeah, these are my braids. I asked for, I asked for medium length waist, no, I asked for medium waist length. And I ended up getting box braids because I really need these to last through the holidays, New Year's, all that stuff. I need these to last. And so I got box braids. I, I don't know, I don't feel like not this lasts as long. So I got box braids. There's two for long. I asked for waist length, but they're like butt length. I guess it's because my hair is so long. And they only cost me $220. $220 is crazy for these braids. You see how small they are? I didn't even want them small for real. I'm going to be honest. I really don't even like the way I look <laughs> with them. I don't know if it's the color. I never had black braids before. I always get like a lighter color. And also, I just don't know. I feel like they don't fit my face shape. Next time, I'm definitely going to get boho with like the extra curls and stuff. Just so it looks, I don't know. It just, maybe it just looks a little boring to me and flat. I don't really like my hair to be looking so flat. It just looks so flat to me. I don't know. I really don't know. And because it's box braids, I can't really move the parts yet. Like you see, you see, it gotta loosen up some because I really don't like the middle part. And she asked me and I told her, could you do a side part? And she still did the middle part. But overall, I'm really happy. Ow, that hurts, that hurts. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy with them. I'm happy with the place I went to. They're super neat. Like, they're so neat. Can y'all see? They are very nicely done. I will go back to them again. I am going to go back and get the bowl the next time. I'm, 
I don't think I'm getting braids like anytime soon after this. I just wanted them right now because I'm just trying to get things together and my hair is the last thing I need to be worried about right now. And the holidays are coming up and I feel like that's been a lot for me recently. Like so many things, my daughter's birthday, then my birthday, then um, Thanksgiving and just like my hair just be another thing to worry about you know it's just another thing that stops me from doing things that i need to do which is ridiculous but i think i think that might be something other people deal with i know i'm not the only person that deals with that like no if your hair is not done you just be feeling like you know i know y'all get it i know y'all get it <laughs> some of y'all this was a reminder that god's always gonna place me where i'm supposed to be because that other lady was gonna charge me a lot more and I was, I had told her that I wanted medium too, and I know she wasn't going to do this. I know, cause this is not medium. I don't even understand how this happened. This is not medium to me. Is this medium? This is small to me. This is small, but it's cool. I had a really good experience at that salon. So yeah, it just, it was meant for me to go there instead of the other lady. So it's fine, it's okay. I'm definitely never gonna go to her. So now I found another place that I go to and she, this place was less expensive. So yeah, but um, I'm about to go to bed. And I think I'm in the vlog here. I keep playing with it, but it really is not even that. I'm just playing with it. I'm trying to loosen it up really. Um, and I don't want to put it up in a ponytail because then I won't be able to sleep. It's going to hurt and give me a headache. So, yeah. I'm ending the vlog here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you watch to the end, I appreciate you so much for that. So much. You a real one. But, um, yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.